Okay, yeah, I'm back. I had to... Uh, software glitch, bug, error. I have uh, just went through and I started uh, removing mods and, and testing a couple of things. And I really think that it's the, it's the uh, multiple... I hate to say it. It's the, the multiple uh, uh, crew capsules, multiple cockpits in, in one vessel. Uh, as soon as I remove that, all the errors stop. So it looks like my plan that I was getting so excited about, it just isn't going to work. But that's okay. We've still, we're going to co continue with the way we're doing the series before. I'll just have, uh, you know, whenever I remake the vehicle, after I get it fine-tuned, I'll have to do it without, without this cockpit. I'll have it like a structural piece to stand in for that. Huh, I'm kind of bummed about that. Oh, well. Okay, okay, but... Now, let's try this thing again. Ooh, ooh, with one small change, you saw that there, the, immediately before we had the software bugginess, that I was having difficulty getting my airplane free of the payload. I've got an idea about this. I'm going to take these things here, which originally were supposed to be to make the rocket spin, but now that... Um, yeah, now that we can decide exactly where and how to mount things, I think it can it can just use this. How much did it weigh? Yeah, 0.2, so this adds a 0.4 to the whole weight. Um, oops, wrong button. Wrong button again. There we go. Uh, that's tiny, tiny, isn't it? But all I need is just a little nudge. And that's those things, and those, I need those things to light off at the same time as it decouples, and that is to sep help separate the payload from my airplane. Okay, yeah, here's current provisional. Let's try this again. Hopefully software glitches are resolved and we get to actually testing the vehicle itself. Back back in action. Rager, WEC-15 Heisler, Kanosh Kersomovich, real veterans by this time. So. You know, these are a couple of good guys. Oh, you can see in the background this is the <laughs> Grunt Provisional Debris still standing over there on the on the runway. <laughs> I like it. All right, joystick ready. Whoops, whoops, wrong button, wrong button. Okay, let's see. Your precision control is on. SAS is on. We verify that all this stuff is centered. Yes, it is. Okay, okay, I already know that the design as it stands will not be strong enough, but I, I want to see, but I still haven't been able to actually get a chance to oper to fly it as an airplane and find out how it handles, how's the wings set up, how's the landing gear set up, how's the, the thrust and the engine. Here, let's retract that landing gear before it launch. There we go. Okay, Rager, Buck 15, Kanosh, you guys have been, you've, you've test flown things, you've been to the moon and back. You guys, yeah, you were the test crew. I really believe in you. So you're going to make this happen. Let's go. I think this time I'm not bother, going to bother going for the roll to go east because I already know it's not going to get up there out of the atmosphere. In fact, I'll start pitch forward, pitching forward a little bit right now deliberately be a little bit inefficient so we don't burn all this altitude that I don't need to. But still, I am very happy about how I'm just naturally stable. It's my first guess on where to, uh, how far above the center line I mount these engines. I was very happy about that. I'm going to turn SAS on and can turn and can let go of the controls. So that's good. Nice and stable. The engine's cooking a little bit hot, but not enough to actually worry about, you know? WEC 15, he's enjoying it. Kanosh Krasomovich, he's enjoying it. Rager's freaking right the hell out. There's nothing to freak out about at the moment. This is, this is all good. Okay, there that goes. Pitch forward some. Let's just go ahead and burn the rest of that fuel off. Matter of fact, let's let's decouple the payload right. Let's try something. I'm going to lock hit. Okay, hang on. I'll hit right here. Decouple and 
Let me see how those things burning. Hmm. That didn't work so great, did it? No, oh, it, it, it separated a little bit. Uh, okay, let's turn RCS on. Let's thrust backwards. Also. Um, okay. Well, here, let's do it this way. Let's see if I can. There we go. That'll get me clear of it. SAS off. We oh 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 bad news bad news bad news bad news what's happening bad news oh oh um okay hang on uh, SAS off let's leave the RCS on give us more control we're doing a uncontrolled tail slide this is very very bad news Rager you are right to be freaking out Quebec 15 Heisler Kanosh Kursamovich wake up this is bad news guys you should be freaking out right now if you're as smart as your buddy Rager. Okay, hang on. Okay, well, we got some drastic tail heaviness, but I, I can still burn off some more of this fuel to get rid of some of that tail heaviness. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, fuel's gone. Okay, lower the nose, lower the nose. Oh, I'm going backwards. <laughs> this is very, very bad news. Below 7,000 meters, this is not much altitude to play with, and I'm Totally out of control. Come on. Um, put you back. Okay, can I... Let's try it this way. Can I yaw around over the... Okay, now it's thrust. Okay, okay. Better, better, better. Almost. Oh, come on. Okay, let's try and invert it. Let's go the other way. And there goes all my RCS fuel is gone. Oh my god, no, this is bad news. Come on. Come on, bad news. Extremely tail heavy. I should have seen this coming. I should have seen this coming. Okay, okay. Almost. Let's get that nose pointed in the right. Oh my god, no. Ha! Huh. Well, okay, nose pointed at the sky as we travel horizontally. This is. This, I. It, this is not landable. This is not... Let's stick that landing gear out anyway. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe we'll get lucky. Maybe something will happen. Might as well turn that RCS off and it's not going to do anything. Okay. Okay. So, um, we actually got a little bit of a climb going. Oh my god. Is this... This is the most tail heavy... Tail heavy thing ever. This is worse the worst tail-heavy airplane that I've ever found myself attempting to control. Come on! Okay, okay, can we get that nose pointed in the direction of travel? Or closer? Closer now than, than we have been through this whole experience? Oh, that's bad. Um, oh my god, come on. Well, maybe as it burns off fuel, I still got a couple of fuel tanks to go. <laughs> um, it'll get a little bit lighter as that happens. That's just about the. I'm thinking, I'm hoping, keep on doing this full throttle because I'm hoping that more airspeed will give me more controllability, but it just isn't working that way. Oh my god, come on. Okay. Rigor has actually calmed down a little bit. Heisler and Kursamovich, I, I honestly I think that they're not so bright and they do not know how bad this is. Man, you guys went to the moon and back. And Oh, oh. Come on, come on. <laughs> Can I burn enough fuel? Nose up, nose up. I mean, like, nose down is what I mean to, so I can get the control. Oh my, no, it's... It's it's over. It's not gonna work. There's this is irrecoverable, unrecoverable. Guys, freak out, freak out now. Oh god! <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I like the bouncing parts. That's um, that's just so ridiculous. I kind of like it. Okay, well. Thus endeth the saga of Rager 
Herman Wick 15 Heisler and Kanosh Kursamovich. They served all of Kerbal Kind well, but that's it for those guys. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> okay, okay, back to the drawing board. Yeah, let's get back to the vehicle assembly building, huh? Okay, 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 okay. So, uh, in order to work on this, I'm actually going to have to take this thing back into... Um, whoops, here we go. Flip it over that way. Going to take this thing back into the space plane hangar. Run to provisional... Select... Bang, there's my vehicle. My extremely tail-heavy vehicle. Alright, move this joystick out of the way. Gonna doing some work here. Excuse me while I punch the microphone. Oh, that was sad. Okay. Poor guys. Okay, well... Okay, so I've got two problems facing me in this vehicle. One is, I, it has enough thrust, I think it just didn't burn long enough. So I'm thinking I'm going to uh, swap a couple of these structural pieces out. I'm going to make them into rocket fuel tanks. And I also need to move these wings back. So let's turn that symmetry on. Okay, okay, there it is. Wings moved back. Landing gear. I don't know that. Yeah, that landing gear. That'll still work. The wings have moved back. We have more rocket fuel. Let's save it. And let's go ahead and go for another launch. And turn it upside down. Back up. Camera. The camera can be difficult to work with sometimes. There we go. Yeah, okay. Let's go. We're going to clear the runway and proceed. Fredulous, New Mercs, and oh, what the hell? It broke again. Why does it keep doing that? And a flight, am I sure I want to? Structural between the ASAS and the Mark II cockpit. Let's hang on, let me swap my files around again. Let's try and opening, let's try and open this thing in the VAB. Okay, I'm back. I think I've got the previous problems resolved, and I think I screwed up and moving some of the files around. Now I'm wondering if maybe the front landing gear too far back. Nah, it's still okay. I think of all that weight back there. Uh, let's try it again. Grunt provisional. Wings further back. More rocket fuel. Sherman Kerman. Akira. Kerman. Carl. Kerman. <laughs> See the, like, there's our debris over there. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. It just does. Oops. See, I've got the joystick got, like taking up half my mouse pad over here. So whenever I'm doing stuff, I have to pick it up and I have to move it all the time. I need to come work to figure out a better arrangement for that. Okay. Okay. You guys put those previous test flights out of your mind. This one's going to work. We're going to be more balanced. It's going to go, we're going to boost the payload up out of the atmosphere. Everything is going to be great. SAS is on. Bam. And here we go. Let's go ahead and get a roll going. There we go. Yeah, this, I will say that this design, it's nice and stable at launch. It's easy to fly at launch. I'm, I'm happy with that. Very pleased. Correct that roll a little bit. Okay. Yeah, and just looking at it, that looks, that looks better with those wings back there, doesn't it? And still, it's not exactly a streamlined design. I think it's barely aerodynamic aerodynamic at all. Sometimes I have trouble talking. Ooh, I forgot to retract my landing gear. Let's retract those. Boom. There we go. Okay, solid booster is almost done. Let's 
Let's go ahead and set this map up like that. That's good. Solid booster is done. Yeah, we got extra mass, so we're not lifting as fast, but hopefully we'll be able to lift further. Okay, now I think these, yeah, these are my last uh, rocket fuel tanks. Over here, this direction, some. Apoapsis is low. That's not good. Come on. Oh no, I've got a whole other tank left. There we go. Maybe I probably started angling over too soon. Yeah, definitely too soon. Let's turn that. RCS on as we're starting to get a little out of control. Apoapsis up here at 24. It's a really sloppy launch. I bet you I could get some more altitude if it had some more careful piloting. Oh, and it's still another fuel tank to go. Yeah, definitely sloppy, sloppy piloting. Yeah, we're just moving horizontally now. Still. Yeah. Okay, rocket engines are done. Alright, let's throttle that back. We're already descending. Let's get rid of the payload. Yeah, I think those little boosters that I put on there aren't strong enough to do anything. Uh, thrust backwards. Can we get clear of the... Uh, let's try... Tr can I translate out of it? Uh, RC let's turn that off. What, am I out of RCS fuel? Why is my RCS not working? Oh, I see a whole bunch of broken struts. Something broke. Whoa! Oh! Oh no! That was... I thought we fixed all the software bugs by getting rid of the extra... Oh. This... This is very sad. And Normally I cackle maniacally whenever stuff goes wrong, but this... Um... This one isn't funny. This is very, very, very sad. Let's turn that RCS off. I think, I think maybe something catastroph catastrophically went wrong whenever I went to de decouple the payload and the game just didn't catch up to it. It was having trouble processing things. So this is Akira. This is, what is that? Was it Carl and Akira? Did, did they just jump altitude up a few thousand kilometers? Am I having weird software bugs again? Are they looping in time now? Okay, okay, so yeah, this particular flight the per of the provisional grunt, um, maybe there's some bugs that need worked out still. And it's okay, it's water. Maybe it'll be soft. Mm. This is the same bug that I was having whenever I had all those extra cockpits in there. Structural failure on linkage between the SAS and the Mark II cockpit. That continues to be the weak point. Oh, that was sad. Okay, but it was right. It was all going okay right up to the moment of decoupling. Get rid of these little. Oops, not that. Damn it. I hate when I click on the wrong thing. Get rid of these little booster things because those are just useless. Okay. 
Um, yeah, I think I'm going to stop recording for right now. I'm going to go do some, put some my thinking hat on, and we're going to think some more about this design, about what needs to be done. I'll talk to you later. Bye.